Another thing I get a lot of questions on is how is that new tax law affecting the um, real estate business? We've actually created a PDF that's online on CanadaGroup.com so that you can really read something at, at more detail. But I'm going to hit some of the highlights of the new tax law. For example, what are the tax rate reductions? The second category is what is the mortgage interest re deduction, okay? And as we probably all know, uh, as of December 14th, I think it was when the tax bill was uh, passed, your mortgage interest deduction goes to a maximum of a $750,000 loan. So it's capped at $750,000. Any mortgage above $750,000, you are not able to deduct. The third category is what about the deductions for state and local taxes? Also, what are the standard deductions? Those were actually raised. Some of you have heard of alternative minimum tax. Um, that has basically gone away, so it's, you don't even have to worry about that anymore. It was very complicated anyway. The rest of the categories are going to be on that PDF, so please go on to CanadaGroup.com or call our office and we'll email it to you. Either way, we will send you a blurb on how the new tax law affects you as a citizen of California and a uh, real estate owner. Don't forget, this is only for personal residences that I was speaking of before. So income producing property, rental property, uh, 1031 exchanges, they all stayed intact. Thank goodness.